Hey everybody and welcome to the Scott Show, the workout with Scott Show. We're talking about 20 uh, things to know when you're dating a runner. Um, it, it's a really funny thing. Erica Shuckles, uh, or however you pronounce it, Erica, um, posted this on Active.com. Uh, so I want to thank her and Active.com for posting this. Um, I will make my remarks as I do because it's the Scott Show um, and comment on my feelings on what is posted. Uh, So there you go. Number one, their birthday, anniversary, Christmas wish list consists of new running shoes and the latest running gear. I don't get the latest anything. Um, Seriously, I don't get the latest anything. Um, my new running shoes, I, I have cool running shoes, about myself. Um, I didn't get a lot of running gear for Christmas this year from anybody. I can't think of one running thing I got this year. So, uh, there you go. Uh, and my birthday and Christmas are right next to each other, so, um, it kind of is what it is. So, next on the list, number two. Uh, you are often at happy hour solo because your SO is running. I don't know what that means. So, uh, yeah, however it works out. Um, other half, I, I don't know. Because your other half is running. Um, I don't go to happy hour anyway. Uh, so, um, there you go. So, no happy hour for me. Number three, your vacations are often in conjunction with with a race that is so true uh anytime i go on vacation anywhere it is for a race in minneapolis and denver colorado in april or in yeah in april april 29th denver colorado i will be there and square um and that's a vacation for me i'm gonna go have some sexy pizza all right number four speaking of vacations just because a runner is on a trip doesn't mean they'll take a break that is again true. When I went to my friend's wedding, um, I went to the gym. Um, I was at Anytime Fitness in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was great. Uh, so yes, I am not taking a break for anything. Um, including, I'll do the Scotch Show wake-up call every single morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, except when I run. At, then it's at 7. Um, you know not to make plans on race day. That's so darn important. Do not make plans on race day. Um, Any of those days that I have listed, if there are plans, I will not be involved. Um, That's just how it works. And number six. Uh, Now, now this is for women who are running. Um, You consider it a special treat when she puts on a real bra. Because, you know, sports bras and stuff. Okay. Number seven. A passionate night at home might include massaging their sore calves and shin splints. Uh, you know, I, I am often sore. Um, so, you know, going for a massage doesn't sound that bad at all. And I wish you guys could see the picture on here. It's two little kitties. One little kitty is pawing on the other. It's just cute as hell. Alright, number eight. The closet has more running clothes than street clothes. First of all, my closet is incredibly dinky small. If I did hang up everything... I actually have my own little Anytime Fitness area of my um, hanger. Um, The pipes that have all my clothes. Because I have to have that too. uh, Just so I have something to where I can put everything. Um, yeah, right now I got a hoodie on and, uh, the Anytime Fitness shirt and sweatpants, so there you go. Um, exercise pants, whatever. Laundry day means an entirely separate load for just running clothes? Not really. You know, laundry gets done good here, so I'm fine with that. Um, don't need to worry about a separate load of just running clothes. Number 10, you've learned to appreciate their well-worked feet. I have great feet. So I have no idea what they're talking about in this. Number ten, number 11. 
Sometimes you try to run with your sweetheart. And this is probably the cutest uh, little picture, little gif. It has these two dogs running, and the one dog runs into um, the hurdle that the other dog jumps over. I hate running with anybody. Um, I had uh, somebody who was a friend of mine, who I know from Anytime Fitness, uh, asked me if I wanted to run with them at the, the Insane Inflatable 5K last year. I said, as long as you run fast, because I hate running with anybody. I want to be my own speed. I want to do my own thing. So I'm not running with anybody. Um, number 12. Yet other times couples runs can make a perfect date night. Again, I ain't running with anybody ever. I hate that. So uh, there you go. Number 13. You find ways to preoccupy yourself. So uh, while you're... Uh, you know, the other half is out on their many long runs. Um, I I have heard uh, of people doing really crazy, crazy things while their other half is out on long runs. Um, I have heard, um, yeah, you know, people who run Grandma's Marathon, sometimes their other half is uh, out at the movie theater. Um And then they get out, and then they can go see their other half finish. So, there there you go. Number 14, you wake up when their alarm goes off for yet another morning run. I wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, day of the Saturday runs. I was up at like 4 this morning. Uh, So, the alarm wasn't even set. I just get up. Um, Yeah. Number 15, your house apartment is littered with headphones, water bottles, watches, running belts, etc. Uh, I can't say it's littered. I have a little uh, spot in my office where I have some weights and other stuff like that. And then um, I I don't have a lot of watches. Uh, Water bottles? Yeah, water bottles. I have quite a few of those. Uh, Headphones? I got a lot of headphones, but they're all little earbuds. A running belt, I don't have too many of those, so I can't say my house is littered with any of that. Number 16, so many socks. Yes, I have a lot of socks. I have a lot of Christmas socks. I also have my Color Run socks. I also have uh, Superman socks. I have a lot of socks. Do not mess with their pre-race meals. I don't like to eat uh, pre-race. So, to mess with my pre-race meal is to give me food. Um, I learned that yesterday. I had uh, kind of Mexican food yesterday. Did not agree with me. Period. End of story. I don't... I I should not have lunch. I should have breakfast, skip lunch, run, and then eat dinner. So, yeah. Don't mess with my... Don't feed me anything. I'm like a gremlin. Don't feed me after midnight. Not a cool thing. I thought that was really funny. Uh, Too bad I don't have a laugh track. Because I thought that was pretty good. Um, Number 18. But you are more than happy to join them for post-race meals. I love chicken. Uh, I will eat chicken until I fall over. I also love... uh, On Saturdays, I will sometimes go to uh, my favorite bread store. And buy buy my favorite bread, which I only have on Saturdays. And then I will eat it all weekend long. Um, so that is definitely, definitely something there. Alright, number 19. You are now oddly attracted to compression socks. I don't really wear compression socks. I have really cool running socks. Uh, but they're not really compression socks. So, not too worried about that. Number 20. Regardless of your quirky things your partner does, you're proud of your runner. And I, I'm very happy that I have... A very good support team uh, available for me. Um, I, I I love that that I have that support team. Uh, lots of people have said that you know I've made a big change uh, since I've been running, and that's really cool. And the last one thing, uh, last thing we have here is just a picture of somebody running in the dark um, because that works out. 
So, folks, uh, that has been 20 things to know when you're dating a runner. And, again, I do not have um, a lot of belts and other crap around in this house. Um, Just saying. But I do have my medals up, and I will take a picture of that and use that one day as uh, something for the Scott Show wake-up call or however it works out. Thank you guys so very much for listening to this podcast. Uh, This is a Scott Show exclusive from Active.com. I want to thank them again. Thank Erica for writing the article. And we will see you guys very soon on the Scott Show.com. So much fun.